Okay, so I have to start getting really inventive about where to film because it's getting so dark so quickly. This is at like 2 p.m. Hello? Yeah. So this is where we're going to be right now. So today we're going to do a very like Aurora focused video because I think we're going to get some really good Northern Nights tonight. So that's what we're focusing on today. The Aurora season has finally started. So what I thought I would start with is saying hi, <laughs> of course. I've had a lot of new people come to my channel lately, but a lot of you are also not subscribed. So maybe if you want to subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, but I'm still just happy that you are here. So today I'm going to explain what settings I take uh, Northern Nights photos on and how I kind of worked it out and hopefully we're going to get some good footage of some Northern Nights actually in the sky. But I'm feeling very positive about it because the forecast is really good. So I can start by showing the app that we, well that I use to check the Aurora. So maybe that's going to be able to see. Yeah. So there's this app here that's called Nowcast. Aurora now cast for Svalbard. But yeah, so here we can see what it's going to look like. And this is pretty accurate. So it's a good start. And then we can also check the actual now, like, real-time updates on the Aurora. So those two apps are very good for just checking, okay, how, what are the predictions and how is it going to be today? But it looks really good. But now I'm going to show you the settings. And the most important thing is having a lens with the lowest f-stop that you have, so it can take in as much light as possible. Then you want to set it on a good shutter speed. So it's going to probably be a long exposure and uh, the right ISO. It's really just about finding your settings though, but as long as you know the basics of what you want to do, it's going to be easier. I remember in the beginning being on YouTube a lot and just trying to figure out the basics of night photography, and it is quite difficult because it's not like self-explanatory. This whole photography thing is something you learn by doing and by Googling. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to change and film on the Go, the DJI action cam. Yeah. Great. Yeah, this one. So you can see what settings I use. All right. So I have a Sony A7 III, which I love. Then on it, I have a Sony fixed lens of 50 millimeters at 1.8 f-stop. So it's very good for night photography. And this camera in general is very good for night photography. Okay, you're going to put your dial to manual and that's the first step and in here you're gonna change the settings to what you want so you have the aperture here which is set by this dial on mine so you're gonna put your aperture to the lowest you can you're gonna see I'm gonna blow out the photo a lot I should have something on it let's just do this there we go so we have the aperture set at f 1.8 which is very good. And then on the left here on my camera, you're going to see the shutter speed, uh, which is this style for me. And I usually have it at about four seconds because that's all I need on this lens. And then I have my ISO set to 2000. And for me, I like to keep it around maximum 3200 ish because that's when it starts gets grainy with the settings that I set up. But yeah, so this is the basic settings you need to check. And then I also highly recommend turning on intervalometer or just a delayed shooting start because you want it to start taking a photo after you've pressed the shutter because otherwise every time you press it, you're going to shake the camera. So it's going to be and then the whole photo is going to be blurry. So you just want to be able to press this one, not touch it, and then it's going to take the photo for you and it's going to be not blurry. Then most important also is manual focus because your camera is not going to be able to find anything on autofocus when it's that dark. So those are pretty much my settings. I have my f-stop at the lowest 1.8. I have my exposure time set on four seconds, the shutter speed. 
and then I have my ISO at around 2000 because that works for me. And then I kind of shift it depending on how strong the Aurora is. Sometimes it gets blown out because the Aurora can be so strong. Hopefully that's what we're going to see tonight. But you just kind of need a good basic and then you use that and just work from it. But now I'm just going to drink a coffee. I'm going to chill, do some work. And then I hope to see you guys tonight so we can check out some good Northern Lights. Usually it kind of kicks off in the middle of the night for some reason. So... Yeah, I have a feeling where it's going to be maybe at like 12 p.m. or 1 a.m., but we'll see. You never know. It's just about looking outside and checking those groups for notifications. So see you guys later. Okay, so it's 11.25 p.m. and there is so much Northern Nights out like an insane amount so i've set up my camera outside and i'm gonna bring it out so we can go check i have my headlamp up here whoa this is so oh i can't use my lamp here because i don't want to disturb the images okay so there's so much where the night's out hey yeah, you are you love being outside <laughs> Whoa. Just look at this. And I can't get like a better shot of it because it's like right here. Oh, that's insane. this isn't that crazy holy shit that's so much <gasps> oh wow this is just stunning and there you can see the pink look at that whoa that's insane, guys. Look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. And it's so close. It's right above me. Look at that moving. Holy. This is so strong. I want to say that I've seen nothing like it before, but I have. But this is... Look at that. This is one of the best auroras I've seen ever. Oh my God, there's so much happening. Oh my God, I don't know. I Okay, I'm gonna take a photo. So I've set up my camera over here. Like I said, I wanna disturb it's on a time lapse. You see it over there? It's over there. Yeah, so it's on a time lapse. And I really need to go to bed, but I just can't when this is happening outside. Oh my god, it's minus 10 degrees and like no wind, super crisp, and just perfect weather. Oh my God, what did I just hear? Oh. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. You would think that Grim is good polar bear safety, but I mean, he's a liability. He would be like, oh my god, hi! Okay, I need to... I can't see anything with this light, so I have no idea what's around me. Oh my god, guys! This is absolutely insane! Okay, yeah. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Oh, this is so exciting! First! This is the first uh, Northern Nights day for me this season, so this kind of kicks it all off. Okay, bye!